Hello my dear students. I am again back with two new and interesting topics for our today's class. Today we'll discuss the two topics that you can see adjectives and their kinds and homonyms. So children, take out your book, get ready for the class and please pay attention. First of all, we'll discuss adjectives and their kinds. So let's begin with the definition what is an adjective An adjective is a describing word it describes a noun or a pronoun it usually comes before the noun it describes it can also come after the noun in a sentence example Sita is a clever girl I don't like that boy he gave me 5 mangoes here clever that and five are adjectives because clever is describing sita okay clever is describing the girl i don't like dash boy which boy that boy okay he gave me how many mangoes five mangoes so this three words are describing words that are clever that and five now there are different kinds of adjectives let's look into that adjectives may be divided into the following classes see types of adjectives there are six kinds of adjectives number 1 adjective of quality number 2 adjective of quantity number 3 adjective of number number 4 interrogative adjective number 5 demonstrative adjective and number 6 exclamatory adjective so today we'll do the first three adjectives adjective of quality quantity and number these three you have for your syllabus and the rest you don't have for your syllabus in this class okay now first we'll see adjective of quality adjectives that describe the kind of quality of nouns are called adjectives of quality example a dash table a wooden table so the quality of the table is wooden a straight road a smart child okay the quality of the road is straight the quality of the child is smart okay adjectives of quality include colors sounds taste and smell example a yellow rose a shrill cry a bitter lemon a spicy aroma it describe shapes sizes and texture example a rectangular box a huge building a furry coat it also express the feelings and nature of nouns example an angry lady an innocent child a beautiful dawn it further tells us about nationality origins and location example an irish man a gujarati tale the southern states i hope you can understand now we'll do an exercise related to this topic okay fill in the blanks with adjectives of quality in the following sentences children please take out your copy and note everything down okay number 1 the girl has a dash voice sweet voice the answer is sweet voice the girl has a sweet voice number 2 akbar is a dash batsman akbar is a fine batsman fine batsman number 3 that is a dash house that is a big house you can even write that is a small house okay so here i am giving you the answer as that is a big house number 4 i like dash roses i like red roses number 5 it is a dash day it is a bright day 
Number six, you may eat dash mangoes. You may eat ripe mangoes. Number seven, the milk is not dash. The milk is not good. Number eight, Kolkata is a dash dash city. Kolkata is a large city. Next, we'll move on to adjectives of quantity. Adjective which shows the quantity of nouns or pronouns is known as adjectives of quantity. It describes how much something is. They are not countable. Example, I ate some rice. How much rice? Some rice because rice cannot be counted. So here adjective is some. He showed much patience. He has little intelligence. He has lost all his wealth. Now here is a chart which will help you to know about adjectives of quantity. Okay, These are the list of adjectives of quantity. Whole, enough, little, all, hundred, no, some, sufficient, any, few, most, heavily, empty, great, couple, half, much, insufficient, abundant, light, numerous, single, substantial, hundreds, double, sparse, each, full, huge, several, significant, couple of days, a lot, too, many, heavy, lots of, a little bit, plenty of, enough of. Now we have another exercise. Please note it down. Fill in the blanks using suitable adjectives of quantity. Fill in the blanks using suitable adjectives of quantity. Number one. I have told you this dash times already. I have told you this many times already. The answer is many. He has dash money in his purse. He has no money in his purse. Number three. There has not been dash rain this year. There has not been sufficient rain this year. Number four. We have dash time for practice. We have enough time for practice. Number five. Is there dash mango in the tub? Is there any mango in the tub? Number six. Only dash birds are flying in the sky. Only few birds are flying in the sky. Number seven. Add dash sugar to my coffee. Answer. Add some sugar to my coffee. Number eight. Dash, the students have passed their exams. Sorry, the exams. The answer is all the students have passed their, passed the exam. Now we will see adjective of number. Let's see the definition. Adjective which states the number of persons, animals or things is called adjectives of number or numeral adjectives okay adjective of number is also known as numeral adjective or we can also say that adjective showing the number of nouns or pronouns is called adjective of number example there are 10 students in the classroom here 10 is the adjective we can see 10 students so adjective of number i stood First in the class. Okay. Adjective of number or numeral adjective is categorized into three types. They are definite numeral adjectives, indefinite numeral adjectives, distributive numeral adjectives. Now let's see the examples of definite numeral adjectives. Examples are 1, 6, 5th, double, 2, 55, 2nd, triple, 7th, 11, 75th, quadruple, 15, 1st, 1 5 7th, 
twenty, third, ninth, first, etc. Indefinite numeral adjectives examples are some, few, many, all, no, several, any, most, more, too, much, none, too many, certain, etc. Now the examples of distributive distributive numeral adjectives are each, every, neither, either, etc. Now we'll see the difference between adjectives of quantity and adjectives of number. Children, adjective of quantity and adjective of number more or less sounds the same. But there are difference in these two kinds of adjectives. Let's see them now. By name, it seems that both are similar. However, both have many differences. Both indicate the amount of noun in the sentence. However, the differences are like point one. Adjectives of quantity show the approximate quantity of noun, whereas adjectives of number express the exact number of the noun in sentence. Point two. Adjectives of number indicate the number of noun. its position and place in a certain order in the sentence adjective of number is used with countable nouns whereas adjective of quantity is used with uncountable nouns and the last point adjective of number is classified into three types definite numeral adjectives indefinite numeral adjectives and distributive numeral adjectives whereas adjective of quantity is identical to the indefinite numeral adjectives however differing in their usage okay now we have another exercise circle the adjective of numbers in each of the following sentences circle the adjective of numbers in each of the following sentences number 1 each of the students has received their study materials answer is each so you will circle the word each each is adjective of number number 2 today is my last day in the office you will circle the word last number 3 one of the birds got hurt answer one so circle one number 4 i will read this whole book today answer is whole so circle the word whole number 5 seema is the third best performer in my school answer is third so you will circle the word third number 6 neither question seems tough answer is neither so circle the word neither number 7 i have some chocolates for you and the answer that you will circle is some number 8 he ate only half plate of pasta answer is half so circle the word half Now children in your book you will see that you have demonstrative adjectives but we will not do that as it is not there in your syllabus for your practice work please note down you will do the exercises given in the book at page number 60 and 68 exercises a b and c That's all about adjectives and kinds of adjectives. Now we'll go to the next topic that is homonyms. Now many of you might think what is this new term homonym? But you will soon realize that we generally face this thing in English while we speak or write but we might not be aware of the terminology in this lesson first we'll discuss what is a homonym so let's see what is a homonym 
Homonyms are words that have the same spelling and pronunciation but have different meaning. Homonyms are words that have the same spelling and pronunciation. That is same spelling and same pronunciation but have different meaning. Children, we have already studied about homophones. So, please don't get confused with these two homophones and homonyms because they both are totally different. Homophones are words having same pronunciation but different meaning as well as different spellings. But homonyms are words that have the same spelling and pronunciation but only have different meanings. Now, let's see some examples so you will note it down note everything of homophone or homo names in your copies okay number one that is address the first meaning of address is it defines the address of a person that is your address my address example i have your address okay and the second meaning of address is it refers as an act of addressing oneself to a person or a group. Example, he addressed a public gathering. Number two, we have play. The first meaning of play is to participate in a game. Example, he plays cricket regularly. And the next meaning of play is to act as indicated in the role, especially in performance. Example, he plays the role of a king in the event. Next, we have write. First meaning of write is it is used when you are talk, taking a decision. It may be right or wrong. Example, Shruti made a right decision to look over the matter. And the next meaning of right is it is also used to show direction. Example, the army attacked from the right direction. Number four, fly. The first meaning of fly is a kind of insect. Example, a fly sat on my palm. And the next meaning is it also means to move in the air. Example, he is good at flying kites. Number five, we have bank. And the first meaning is it is a place. Where we deposit our money. Example, he deposited his savings in the bank. And the next meaning is the land sloping down to a river. Example, she, she sat on the river bank. Number six, bear. Bear is an animal. Example, the hunter killed the bear. And the next Meaning is to withstand or to hold up. Example, finally she could bear the suspense no longer. Number seven, mean. Mean means meaning of something. Example, what does the sentence mean? And the other meaning of mean is not nice. Example, I really did not mean to hurt her feelings. Number eight, well, meaning in a good or satisfactory way. This is the first meaning and the example is the conference was very well conducted. And the second meaning of well is a pit or hole sunk into the earth to reach a supply of water. Example, the dog fell into the well. Number nine, saw. Saw is a Tool having a long blade with sharp points along one of its edges. Example, the carpenter is using a saw to cut the woods. And another meaning of saw is, it is, a, it is the past tense of see. Example, it seems like years since I saw you. Number 10, left. The first meaning of left is, it is used to show directions like right okay example look left and right before you cross the road and the next meaning is to leave a place example the plane left for delhi today morning now children here is a chart with pictures as well as 
words and sentences these are all of common homonyms they are bat band right ring fly letter palm park see there are examples also i am afraid of bats it's his first time at bat in the major leagues the band's playing old beatles songs she always ties her hair back in a band you can go through this for more knowledge here are some more ruler tie can rose sink watch nail ship these all are some common homonyms this is a list of homonyms in english address band bat match mean right ring rock rose spring stock well clip date drop query fly letter palm park point ruler saw scale ship sink tie trip wave cool duck fall file foot left nail watch can air arm bark kind lie tender tire pool jam drink note glasses orange blue remote iron light seal these all are list of common homonyms in english now we have some practice work please note it down find out two different meanings as well as make two different sentences with each of the given words like i have done from 1 to 10 you will do in the same way okay number 1 band number 2 lie number 3 bark number 4 match and the last one is date so that's all for today's class hope you liked and enjoyed it thank you and have a nice day